Hey, my loves, what's up? For those of you that don't know me, my name is Chris Hannon. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're an oldie, welcome back. So guys, I created this look on my eyes here today using the new ColourPop Sonic Bloom Eyeshadow Palette. That's what it looks like. So this is brand new. This was just released at Ulta a few days ago. And you guys, I absolutely love the color story and I love the eye look I created today. I also ended up getting the new ColourPop Cheek Dew Cream Blush. This is also part of the collection. So yeah, like I said, I did use both of my face today. If you guys end up liking this video, please be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you guys want to see exactly how I use these products today, go ahead and keep on watching. So we're going to be testing the new ColourPop Times Sonic Bloom Eyeshadow Palette. And then I also picked up one of the cheek tints as well. So I got mine at Ulta. I picked it up right in store and I think it was around $20, maybe $21, maybe a little bit cheaper. But here's what it looks like, you guys. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I love that there's some neutrals, but also some pops of color. And I absolutely love the packaging. It's like amazing. And then I'm going to pull out the cheek tint to show you guys. So a cheek tint, if any of you guys don't know, it is a cream blush, but it's supposed to be more on like the sheer side which I definitely love me some blush. So I guess we'll see how this one plays out. Okay, so it's definitely not mixed up. As you can see, like there's green and stuff in it. So let me go ahead and give it a good shake. So this is in the shade, Psst. so PSST, that is the shade name. This is definitely one of the more darker shades. They had a light pink and orange. And then they also had a um, kind of what looked like a bronzer color to me. So we're first going to start with the cheek tint. I already do have pretty much all of my base done. So we're going to start with this and then we're going to work our way to the palette. So since this is like liquid form and it does have a squeezy top, I am going to put it on the back of my hand first. So now I did mention something in my last video and that is my daughter is in school now. So I'm happy that I'll be able to get back to filming. So this is what the color looks like, which it's actually not as runny when it's like shooken up. So it does look very dark and kind of intimidating, but I'm going to take a flat top foundation brush and I'm just going to dab it. Definitely very liquidy, very wet, but it doesn't have as much pigment as it feels like you're putting on the face because right now it feels like this brush is literally soaked, but it's not actually as pigmented as it looks. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more for the other side. And if I didn't say this retailed for $7, which honestly, you guys, isn't bad for a um, blush, cream blush. I kind of almost feel like it's wanting to take off my bronzer and foundation that I have on this side. Because I can see there's a lot in the brush. If you can see like the two wet spots, that's where it's at. Maybe it's just the lighting for me, but I feel like it's actually like removing some of the foundation. I'm going to take my sponge and just lightly just kind of dab over that. It's definitely very, very dewy, which of course all cream blushes are dewy. But honestly, I, I still am going to go over that with a powder and then a powdered blush as well. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my base and prep my eyes and I'll be right back. Let's go ahead and jump into the eyeshadow palette. This is what I was most excited about. Honestly, you guys, I absolutely love this freaking palette. Any ColourPop palette that I've tried, I've absolutely loved, um, but I'm excited to give this one a go. And you guys, every time I get a ColourPop palette, I don't know what it is, but there's literally always dings in it. Like that is a nail dig. I don't know. You guys probably can't see it. And no, it definitely wasn't my nails. Like if I dig, I usually tell you guys. But yeah, every time I get a palette from them, it always seems like there's like dig marks in it. I'm not sure if it's just me or if it's everybody or if, yeah, I don't know. But let's go ahead and jump on in because I'm super excited. I was debating on if I wanted to do two looks in one, but... I don't know, maybe for today I'll just do one. Like, if you guys do want to see two looks, let me know down below. So I'm really tempted to go for these kind of purpley colors. I'm just going to grab this shade called Lunar Disco. So it is a neutral tone shade. And I'm using a JH32. It is a blending brush. So let's see. So I'm just going to blend this right up above the crease. I definitely want to stray away from neutral looks today because I feel like I do a neutral look every single day. This is a really nice transitional shade. ColourPop eyeshadows are very, very pigmented. So it's nice because I feel like you can do softer looks, but you can also amp it up and do like a super deep look as well. So I was really thinking about going for the shades over here. So this one would be for the outer and then this one for the lid. Okay, so let's go in with this deepest shade called Dig Deep. 
So I'm taking this Morphe M456 brush. So it is a small blending brush, but it is more so flat. I love using brushes like this for the outer because I feel like I can be precise, but I can also blend with them as well. Okay, guys, this is really, really deep. So I'm going to start out really light-handedly and just pack it right on the outer V. Once I've got it on the outer V how I want it, I will start blending it into the crease. So I'm going to keep it at about that. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So now what I did is I have really took my time to build that shade up and also make sure it's blended. And honestly, you guys, I think so far, so good. Like, absolutely love the shades. So let's go in with the shimmer shade. I'm incredibly excited for this. I think this is going to be really good. So the shade is called Verbena. So we're first going to start with the shade on a flat brush. This is the Morphe M124 brush. Oh yeah, that shade is absolutely gorgeous. But honestly, you guys, that is such a gorgeous shimmer. So it almost has shifts of maroon, purple, and blue is what I'm seeing. And I don't know if you guys can see that. But that literally looks so cool. So now I would love to go in with another um, shimmer shade right here on the outer V, but I just don't know if there's one that's going to be darker than that. Let's go ahead and try to add the green one maybe, or let's add the pinkish purple. This is called Perennial. So we're going to take this shade Perennial, and I'm just going to pick up a little bit and just add it right here, just where like the shimmer and the matte meet. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is incredibly pigmented. Holy crap. So I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of the deeper shade and just pop some more of that right here and then also blend that pink in. All right, you guys, honestly, so far, so good. I'm absolutely loving this eye look. So really quickly, I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to apply my false lashes, then I'll be right back. All right, guys, let's go ahead and for the bottom waterline now. So let's first go in with Daffodil. And I'm just taking a pencil brush by Jessup, and I'm just going to run this right along the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go back into the Dig Deep shade. I'm using a smudging brush, but a very thin one. I'm just going to keep this as close to the lash line as I can. And I'm going to take my NYX eyeliner pencil in brown and get my lower lash or my lower waterline. So for the inner corner, I'm going to take the shade Field Trip, which is the lightest shade in the palette. Know that with this collection, they also came out with lip, like lip stains. I did not get any of those, but today I am going to jump outside of my comfort zone and I'm going to do a pink lip. So I'm going to take this set by Kylie Cosmetics. This is the liquid matte lipstick and then the lip liner. I'm not even sure the shade. Yeah, it doesn't even have a shade on it, but it's at this color right here. So I'm going to go ahead and align with the lip liner and then fill in with the lipstick. And then just going to fill in with the liquid lipstick. It's so weird because I don't have really any lipsticks and lip liners that actually go together. So it's weird to see them like mesh so well. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Honestly, it's like a super pretty rose. And I feel like it goes really well with the eye look. So now let's go ahead and talk about this new collection by ColourPop. Honestly, guys, I'm absolutely obsessed and I would give it 10 out of 10 for the palette. Um, I absolutely loved it and I think it's so versatile. I feel like you do get your neutrals, but you also get some pops of color. And I love, love, love the eye look I created. I feel like it was so simple, so easy, and I'm obsessed. Um, for the cheek do, honestly, you guys, I have a lot of cream blushes that I love. So personally, for me, I would say pass on this. Um... I don't know. It's really just not for me. I think it's just preferably I don't like cream blushes like this. I mean, if you do, you might actually like this.
But honestly, for the palette, I am absolutely freaking obsessed with it. And I definitely do think that you guys need this palette in your lives. So if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more videos like this one, please be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. And if there's anything at all that you guys want to see next, please let me know. And just know you guys, I am coming back to my channel harder than ever. I'm going to make sure I'm constantly filming, especially my daughter being able to go to school. I'm so excited because I can get back to filming. Even if I want to get a job and film, I think I'd be able to do both. So I'm just really, really excited about that. And yeah, I think that is it for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.